Greek philosophy following the Alexandrian conquest of the East began to search for the ideal way to live. Some schools of thought believed in giving into urges and living as free as possible without restraint, while others sought to find happiness in the greatest good. One school, cynicism, sought to live in accordance with nature, free from the trappings of everyday living with all the accoutrements of worries, ambitions, and desires. Today, we follow one such person, Calodromos, as he sets out in the quest to live life the cynic way. Ah, the first day of a new life begins now. He casts off his robes and stands naked in the market. Everyone stares at him incredulously. It's all right. It's fine, everyone. I'm a cynic. Just a... Uh, Living life according to my beliefs. Sir, do you mind putting some clothes on? Well, there are children here. Nah, let them watch. They'll be fine. It's good that they learn that there's uh, another way of living life. Without the restraints of clothing and rules and shit. Uh-huh. He lowers the spear. Oh, what's this? Persecution? No, just enforcing the laws of society. The society in which you live, and whether you like it or not, ought to live by. But I don't want to. Alright. Then get the Hades out of town. Pelodromos picks up his robe. Fine. I was gonna leave anyway. There's too much negativity in this place anyway. I mean, how's a man supposed to be free? It cuts to, a to the countryside where Calodromos walks down the country road. He passes a phalanx marching in the other direction, and they just stare at him. Gents! <laughs> Hello there! Just, uh, living the cynic life, that's all. An officer rides over and looks at him. Did you just defecate? Calodromos looks down. Living in accordance with nature. Free as an animal. I do what I want, when I want, and how I want. So you're an animal now, is it? <laughs> I guess so. Before he knows it, he finds himself burdened with war jugs, packs, and weapons, and stumbling behind the phalanx. Hey! Hey! What's the meaning of this? Silence, mule! Animals do not talk! He is struck in the head. It cuts to a camp later that night, and Calodromos finds himself tied to a post with the other pack animals. He sees soldiers walk by, pointing and laughing, and he turns away. He sees a groom toss hay to them. Uh, <laughs> hey, excuse me. Excuse me. Uh, hi. Um, do you think I can get some of that lovely soup the soldiers over there are eating? I'd be awfully appreciative. <laughs> the groom stares at him. An officer walks over. What is it? That mule is asking for soup. The officer walks over and whacks Caledromus in the head. <laughs> Stupid beast! We don't give soup to you! You'll get nothing, and you'll like it. That night, Calodromus is lying there when the mule nuzzles him. Oh, mule. My fellow. Sister? Sister. Sister of Burden, look at how they treat us. They make us carry packs all day. Beat us when we move too slow, and when we ask for food, we're beaten again. The mule just stares at him. All we want to do is live free, in accordance with nature. The cynic way. 
The next day, the phalanx is assembled on the field. The officer is staring ahead as another officer walks over. Anything? No, the Seleucid army could be anywhere. Right. Oh, there's a stream nearby. Send the mules up there to get some water. Calodromas and the other mules, laden with jugs of water, begin staring at the slope when there's a shout and arrows fly, killing some of the handlers. He turns around to see soldiers run towards him. One of them stops. Who are you? My name is uh, Calodromas, and I, I. Are you are you a prisoner? N no, I'm a pack animal. The soldier glares at him. Uh, look, I'm just living in accordance with nature, the cynic way, and I was picked up by these assholes who made me a pack animal. Uh, why? Apparently, I told them I want to live life as free as an animal. So you're an animal then? I suppose so. He soon finds himself carrying a wounded man off the battlefield as more men laden him with their packs. He looks over at the soldier. This isn't what I was expecting. Silence, mule! Animals do not talk! He strikes Calodromos. And for God's sake, do be careful! Do you know who that is? He is the nephew of Seleucus himself. He is more important than you'll ever be. Calodromos looks over at the audience. 